You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out the Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats Maker as seen on TV. Now, this is from 2002, I believe. I showed it in a recent video. I was going through my racks of uh, Easy Bake Ovens and other ovens, and this was sitting there, and I said, wow, I don't think I've ever made a video of that. And then I checked my videos, and sure enough, it was not in my archives, and it's a microwave Rice Krispie Treats maker. And then, let's see, prepares in minutes, we will see. Three storage containers and mixing spatula included. Mix, microwave, and cut. All in the same dish. Tasty, wholesome snacks that are easy and fun to make. All of that on one box. All right, let's just, well, let's turn it around. Okay, nothing on the absolute bottom. Now, let's just see. A lot of repeat information here. Okay, yeah, there's the year 2002 Kellogg Company. We know the set includes three-piece mixing cooking bowl with lid, cutting tool with handle, three storage containers for individual snacks, mixing spatula, recipes, and instructions. Oh, those are little containers there, so looks like you can take them to go. One, two, three. Put marshmallows and butter or margin into the Rice Krispies treats maker and microwave for two minutes. Stir in Kellogg's Rice Krispies cereal and, put, and pat down evenly. Use the cutter to quickly and easily serve your favorite delicious snacks. Include 60 years of authentic Kellogg's kitchen tested recipes. Wow. Now, uh, I've not had it out of the box. I don't know where I got this, to be honest with you. It's been a long time and it was just sitting hidden in my collection. Interesting, right? Let's check it out. Let's get it out of the box and we will continue on with the process. For all I know, it could be missing pieces. I hope not, because it looked like no one had ever touched it. See that? There's our 60 years of recipes. Recipes and instructions. Look, they have all kinds of different treats in here. These look like a chocolate Rice Krispies. We're just gonna make the old standard Rice Krispies. Okay, so it looks like we need some spray. Where's the what you need section? Before using your Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Maker, take a minute to see how it's assembled. This will help you to reassemble the unit. Carefully take the Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats Maker apart and note how the parts interlock. Oh boy. Traditional Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats. So three tablespoons margarine or butter, one package, 10 ounce regular marshmallows, or four cups mini miniature marshmallows, six cups Kellogg's Rice Krispies cereal. And there are variations here. So I'll have to kind of see what's going on. Chewy chocolate Kellogg's, that was a chewy. Caramel Kellogg's Rice Krispies, butterscotch, and my plan is not to really cherry, cherry coconut bars to do all these. Although that would be cool one day to show them all, but I need to see if it works and how it works. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so it was in this plastic container. Still can't tell if it's been used, you know? Maybe someone carefully put it all back. All right, so I see Little unlocking tab somewhere? No, maybe this just, this just comes off. Okay, and then you could store your three little crispy streets, like they said. And then there's, oh, they give you the little spatula. It's, a, it's not a soft spatula. And then this just slides in. So you're mixing it all in this. What's this? I have no idea. What does it say about that? And does this come apart? Yeah, it does. Okay, so it looks like you can clean this or then it becomes a tray look at that so you can make them and then you have what looks like a little serving tray all right, what's going on here where's all these detailed instructions that is not a very good set of instructions all right so first disassemble i have to wash it so let me do that let me wash everything before i even investigate this there's a lot going on here i got to get some soapy water hot water on this this is one piece, so we don't have to worry about that. What is this? <laughs> it kind of looks like it wants to clip into this somehow, but what do you think? Maybe I can solve that before I go wash it. Okay, it doesn't show you at all what that is. Okay, horrible <laughs> instructions. All right, well, I'll be back. Okay, I'm not back. I figured it out. I was just looking at this going, hmm, interesting. So there's these little notches right here, okay? And they line up with the notches right here. And then there's this centerpiece. So you're not actually sliding it across. You're kind of locking it in. It's the handle that you're going to need. So when it's all lined up, then you, you slide it in. 
lock all these pieces in. Okay, and you can cut. It's like a big cutter. Look at that. Well, let me get it back apart now. So now you're gonna go back this way. Unlock all of those and take it out. Okay, we figured it out. All right, a little drying. Something I noticed is that when this was in the sink, you gotta really clip this in because it was leaking like a sieve. So I don't want my butter and stuff to be leaking all over my microwave. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, this is a lot to wash. You know, you can make a, you can make these in one little pan, right? And now this is a lot to go through. So it might be easier, we'll see. But generally speaking, I would just heat up the marshmallows and everything on a one stovetop pot and then dump it in a flat tray and then you're done. Look at all this. And wash all this, prep all this, which is okay. This is how we learn. All right, so I thought I'd just give you some of the drying here because all this is part of the process of making sure everything's clean. I did not see any remnants of any previous marshmallow treat, so my guess is that this has never been used. And the lid, it's really hard to see, but it does say Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats, and it's got snap, crackle, and pop. pop. Let's see, can you see it there? It's really hard to see, but it's there. See, it says Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats, and there's the three, the three of them. Maybe that'll be better if it's like that. Okay. I washed these just so that I know everything was clean. Maybe I'll do like a last minute shot of my Rice Krispie treats. I didn't even think about decorating them. Thinking, well, why go to such great lengths till we know if it actually how and what it does? All right, there we go. I have some of the supplies, and I can do a little more drying here, but I think I'm pretty good. marshmallows I have the Rice Krispies which I showed in another video okay. I just want to see why this did not snap together too well it left a gap on the ends okay so that's in ah, that's got to really be locked in tight okay and then you slip this one over it this okay good like I said if it's not tight it's gonna all leak out into my microwave all right that looks pretty good let me see maybe it's a little too bright it's hard to see with all that white we'll drop it down just a little there so that edge is nice and sealed so that should hold what we need to hold I'm assuming this just gets put on we figured that out Gotta be the right way. Lock it in. Yeah, such great lengths too. Maybe I had it reversed. No, I had it right. Boy, I have to refigure out something I already figured out just because it's not snug as a bug. There we go. You just gotta, it's gotta all line up just right, I guess. Okay. There we go. So all those notches are locked in. That's gonna go and cut them all. There's my lid. We are good to go. All right. I think it's thoroughly dry. Supplies, butter, marshmallows, and Rice Krispies.
Okay, so I have the actual Kellogg's Rice Krispies, probably a cup or two, and then I'll have to supplement that with the crispy rice from Aldi. And then I've got these Campfire 10 ounce bag, great for roasting, premium quality marshmallows with the marshmallow guy on the front. And his shirt has got a flame and a flaming marshmallow, but it did call for a 10 ounce bag and then the butter, and then I need Pam Spray. Now, I find this very interesting that it requires you to completely take it apart. It says, early on, uh, right here they show, before using your Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Maker, take a minute to see how it is assembled. Okay, did all that. Carefully take the Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Maker apart and note how the parts interlock. Wash before using to assemble your Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Maker. Snap the handle, oh, where did it say spray? Oh. Coat the edges of the bottom tray with margarine or spray uh, or spray with vegetable spray before inserting the tray into the side panel. So it's kind of like they just said snap the handle of the cutter firmly into the slots. But then here they're telling you to spray just, see way up here, number one, see photo one? Spray just the tray. That's how it seals. Now, I don't know. I find that all very interesting. It also doesn't say to... Uh, Put the lid on. Nothing about the lid. I'm assuming the lid goes on. All right, so let's take this apart. And then I had to make sure this even fit in my microwave. It's pretty big. So if you've got a small microwave, it's not working, let me tell you. Okay, so spray this first. Creates the seal. Okay. together and I said you know rest assured make sure that it is together correctly I'm rest assured not what it said but you know what I'm saying and make sure everything snaps in the little spots then look down here make sure it's all nice and tight okay that's supposed to clip there we go that one's clipped, this one's not clipped. There we go. Okay, nice and tight. And then spray the inside again. So like I said, I had to make sure it fit in my microwave. All right, that is set. All right, so now that that's done, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna uh, clean my hands. They're all covered in this spray. And we come back and we'll start uh, measuring out the ingredients. Okay, couple notes here, just so that if you're uh, wanting to just do the recipe. It says, note, use fresh marshmallows for best results. One jar of seven ounce marshmallow cream can be substituted for marshmallows. Now I use this in a video, it's still off to the side, so I do have the jar, uh, and it'd be one way for me to use it up. And then diet, reduced calorie or tub margin is not recommended. So we're taking, well, let's get six cups of Kellogg's Rice Krispies into this bowl before I do anything else so that I can clear out that one step. Okay, so like I said, I had some. Let's use this here. I'll just measure it right over that to get started. Six cups. This is a two cup measure. Now I probably could also use here. Let me go grab one of my little cups and I can just scoop. There's always this, you know, is this two cups? Is that a dry cup or a wet cup measuring? Let's just see. There's one. And two. Well, I'm going to say yes, because the first one I didn't fill all the way to the top. But all right, that's two. Let's do this. That looks like a healthy three. Okay, and then let's get this other box open. Will we be able to tell the difference? Yes, they seem a little bit different. A little small, well, actually, they look pretty close. Well, let me do this. It's just easier for me to pour into this and scoop into that. So we have three now. Let's use the rest of this up. 
like I said, it's a lot. Instead of just using a pan. Okay, so we're at three. Four. Five. I had one over the two here, so that's why there's so much extra. So the top of that was pretty much three. I think it's close. Let me just give it a skosh more to top it off. I think that's a good skosh. Okay. There is all of that. Okay. Next step, I'll clear this up and do that. All right, so I've reached what I call the fork in the road. It says, assemble the Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Maker and coat with cooking spray, done. Microwave margarine and marshmallows at high, two minutes in Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Maker. It says nothing about putting the lid on, so I'm thinking the lid is just for carrying it around and storing. And it just says, remove from the microwave and stir until smooth. Doesn't say anything about the lid. So I'm just gonna go without the lid on. So 10 ounce bag. And they're nice and fluffy and not stuck together, which is always nice. Sometimes if they hit the wrong temp, you can have a whole goopy mess of marshmallows. Okay, and then three tablespoons of butter. Okay, so we got it. one package, 10 ounces, three tablespoons, margarine or butter. Okay, now we're gonna and over the microwave. It doesn't say anything else. So microwave, margarine and marshmallows at high for two minutes. Remove the microwave, stir until smooth, add cereal. So it's gonna be done in two minutes. We shall see. We shall see. Oops, hit the camera just a little. What do you think? Is it gonna really be two minutes? Let's find out. Okay, I did a test spin in here and it looked like it made it. Uh, we'll see if it gets stuck. I'm just gonna have to let it roll here because uh, that's the only microwave I have handy nearby the video booth, so let's see what happens. Two minutes. all the way to the top let's see what happens when we try to mix it up okay so it was struggling okay I just don't see that these have melted at all in two minutes all right so it did say you know depending on your microwave so I'm not gonna videotape this next round in the microwave but it fluffed up all the way to the top let me go a little longer okay two more minutes and I even put the lid on for a minute just to see 
unless I've got some bum marshmallows, it is not melting at all. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have to go to a different microwave. Maybe this one just isn't powerful enough. Let me, let me do that. All right, different microwave and no lid on, so you see how high it gets. And it doesn't even look like it's the right consistency, so let me check it out. All right, it actually burnt. It was so hot, look at that. And nothing in any way says melted marshmallows. Look at that, Oof. that is disgusting. So, <laughs> well, there's only one way to find this out. I'm gonna grab another pack, a different kind of marshmallow and see, maybe these just aren't the right kind, I don't know. Does it say? Oh, it says you can make s'mores. I never heard of such a thing. I thought any marshmallow should work, right? All right, let's try another bag. All right, so I'm doing a different brand. This one is called Jet Puffed Marshmallows. They do seem a little bit different than those other marshmallows. I don't know what it was about those. Okay. They seem stickier. I hope that's a good thing. And then the butter, which I'm going to do a little bit different now. I'm going to cut it and put it in a couple spots. Maybe that's going to help. So I don't think it's the microwave. I just think it's the way this, uh, this thing works. All right, I won't bore you with the microwave, so I'll be right back. I'll take it out as quick as possible. I'll go two minutes again and we'll see how it looks. Okay, camera's rolling, I have two seconds, and it didn't puff up nearly as much at all, really. A little bit. Hmm, these do look a little, ooh, there we go. Could it be that the marshmallows were just that goofy? Okay, I'd say that's enough for me to put stuff in there and start, I mean, it's not as soft, I think, as the stove top. Much better. All right, let's just see. I really can't believe that those are some strange off-brand marshmallow that doesn't do the marshmallow thing, but I guess it's possible. Okay. I think we have a marshmallow treat. This little spatula is hard to use. Let's just get that bottom stuff up over the top. That's one thing about these is you really have to mix them well. Okay, now flatten. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess not all marshmallows. Oh, these are gonna be really thick. I almost wanna just use my hand. They should have given you some kind of like tool to push. Okay, so it said, push the Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treat Maker cutter down firmly after you do this and after you press the mixture evenly in the pan. I'm just gonna do it. Little sticking on the fingers, but something to taste. Yeah, better prepared next time with a better tool for pressing. All right, there we go. Now we take this and we give it a cut. What do you think? Is it gonna? Is it gonna cut? I think so. These are gonna be monumental. Who I thought, this would be a good time for me to just decorate a few because they're in their little individual section. So let's just see, let's put a little sprinkle, pink sprinkle on this one. Okay, now you can't get to the underside, maybe unless you tilt it. There we go. And then we'll put some sprinkles on another one. Look at how pretty those are. Okay, do 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 do. That's good. And then I got these rainbow sprinkles. All right. And I got some of this yellow. 
Now it said, oh, that's gonna be tough. I'll put a little extra there so I can tilt it in. I do like the pink the best. I think I figure now they're in their individual little sections. And let me do another one of these in this corner. Okay. Another one of these in this corner. And then I guess I'll do another. Ooh, I forgot these. These are chocolate. A lot of those. Okay. There. How's that looking? Okay, completely remove the insert from the pan and slide the Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats on a cutting board. Okay, push the Kellogg's Rice Krispie firm into cutting little bars, remove the insert from the pan and serve. Or, let's see. Well, look at that. They came out pretty good. Can I get it out of this now and show you a side view? Now it's on the tray. Those are monster bars. Look at the size of that. All right, so let me just uh, give you a nice top-down view. I want to wipe my countertop. As you can see, there's butter everywhere. So did it hold it in? I'm going to say no. And uh, let's just see. Okay, so yes, the countertop was a mess. Now I will have to say I wiped out the container a little bit. You know, when I went from first batch to second batch, I didn't wash it and restart. So from my perspective, normally I let Rice Krispies treats sit, but this says eat them right away. Best if served the same day. Microwave cooking times may vary. Stored in the Rice Krispies treats maker. But let me get a couple of my little containers. I almost forgot. Okay, I have to say, these are hefty marshmallow treats. Everywhere I touch, I stick. Okay, it did cut. Let's get it in there. It's actually taller than the container, so I might have to just squish. There, that's better. I think the squishing part needs some work, like a better tool. Yeah, that one's too fluffy. Let's take this one. We'll have to eat that one. Okay. Now I could, you know, you can put them in the fridge and just let them sit for a little bit. They're still very warm. Look how tight that is in there. That's an interesting concept, but to me, it seems like a lot more work and a lot more time. Okay. Now, what do I want to eat? I want to eat this big fluffy pink one. Let me take a bite without letting it sit. It's going to be nice and warm. Taste is really good, but like I said, I think they need to sit and maybe get squished a little bit more. Taste-wise, they're right on. I tell you, I'm going to take a quick break, wash my hands. I'm going to let these sit in the refrigerator in a little case, and then I'll check them out one more time. So I just brought those into the fridge. Doing a little cleanup, and I realized that if I squished them more, they wouldn't have even fit in the little carry container. So I'm not too certain about how much more squishing I could have done, but I'll give them, say, a half hour, maybe an hour. All this could be put away. So I go through the process now, just bringing all that back in. I got to wash the little knife and stuff, but I thought I would check in. I would say overall, I'm a little, I was a little frustrated there, like, hmm. There's a lot of cool recipes, though. Maybe I'll just hold up a few, so if there's anything that you're interested in making, you could. Different kinds of Rice Krispie treats. I'm just kind of killing time while that in the... Wow, there's a lot of them. Well, what's going on in the refrigerator is doing its thing. All right. Hopefully you could have paused and my thumb didn't block anything. I think I got them all there. Easy bean appetizer made with Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats. Well, that's the one, that's the one I followed. 
Then there was the chewy chocolate. And I don't think I showed this one. I think I got them all in the video very nice. I will be back then in about, uh, I'm going to give it an hour. Okay, directly out of the refrigerator. Let's see. Well, let's take one of the small ones here. Now, uh, I, I was rethinking everything. Like, hmm, what could it have been? What happened? Well, the second batch worked just fine. So I think, in generally speaking, uh, fresh marshmallows uh, work the best, I guess. Uh, I didn't think mine were that bad, but maybe they weren't like brand new fresh. All right, so here's this. Now, I remember I was questioning how much you can push down. But you couldn't really push down any more because it would not fit in this. I had to actually squish these to get these in. Let's get them out of the container. Look, I had to really push them. It's bending my spatula. It wants to come out. There we go. Oh, I didn't even grab a plate. Hold on a second. Okay. That is a healthy looking Rice Krispie treat, is it not? I mean, would you enjoy that one? All right, so let's get some of these out. I think color wise and texture wise now, this is what I think of when I think of Rice Krispie treats. I think I wanna make sure I get at least the chocolate one out. See, I'm used to them being in like a flat pan and then they're much much skinnier, much flatter. What about you? I want to show the chocolate one. That one's not pushed in as much, so looks like it's not gonna. Well, it's still gonna bend my spatula. There, how's that healthy assortment of Rice Krispie treats? Poor spatula. All right, let's get these out. I think just for holding them, you can see. Overall, let me give it a quick taste. Mmm. It's really crispy with the stuff on the top. But I think generally speaking, much easier to eat than when they were warm. There's my close-up shot. Well, let me know what you think. Definitely cannot put the lid on in the microwave. It would have puffed up on those marshmallows. But the second time didn't puff up as much, so I don't know. Maybe you're more of a rice crispy marshmallow expert out there. Expert, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for supporting and watching Lucky Penny Shop. By the way, I almost forgot. If there's a recipe that I show that you really want to see and enough people say, yeah, I say try it one more time. Let me know which one that is. And the one that seems to get the most uh, action or people wanting to see it, I'll do that one. And thanks again for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.